Hi, I'm Liz and I bought a 32 foot project canal boat for my first home. Two things I've always wanted in life, to be mortgage free and to be able to travel. Buying a canal boat seemed the perfect idea. Follow me as I restore her into a luxurious home on a budget and explore the British waterways. So, back again, another day to work on the boat. The bleach seems to been done really, really well. It's kind of transformed it, it looks so much better. I'm so pleased. Today, I'm gonna to redo the bleach, and tomorrow, I think I'm gonna wipe it down. And then I'm gonna be looking at varnishing it. So what I need to do is get a uh, yacht varnish, 50% white spirits, 50% yacht varnish. It feels really good today. Okay, I've just finished bleaching and tidied a few things up, as you can see. And it's really good because just seeing what the space is going to be like is really exciting. I'll be ordering the materials for the fiberglass tonight, paying the deposit on that. So the, this cladding, as lovely as it is, is going to be removed and the windows will be taken out. I want to do as much as I can really to try and help the guy that's come in, but I'm afraid of getting a few things wrong and I don't want to create more work for him when he comes. So I'm trying to keep the area nice and clean and just have any unnecessary things away because I will be painting this, which is really exciting just to seal it up. I chose a colour called Sapphire Salute and it's a really, really dark blue. And I always do this, I always change my mind. And then when these walls go back in, they will be painted white. I keep the ceiling this nice colour, but yeah, because the floors are going to be a nice wood, um, an oak colour as well. And then I'm having worktops that are going to be an oak colour as well. So I don't want to feel like I'm living in a tree. And I want to have white walls as well to make it seem a bit bigger and also it'll look nice when I hang up my artwork. Right, it's another day of work done. I'm going to be going home to order stuff for my kitchen, spending a lot of money once again. <sighs> but, pretty happy today. Time to go home. Back again, another day on the Viathan. And as you can see, it just feels all lovely and dry. The mods went so much better. So today I'm going to be wiping it all down for the last time and prepping it for varnishing. Yes! Let's get to it. I think halfway through wiping down the walls I felt a little bit disheartened just because I was like th this has taken several days worth of like driving back and forth just to save the wood but um, it just didn't have knowledge about windows and um, I would recommend anyone buying a boat cabin cruiser or you know narrow boat or whatever first thing get your windows checked out because that's usually the first job um, at the time I thought the windows were okay and then we had that torrential rain in England and turned out they weren't okay but it's fine because it's just a learning curve I've learnt a valuable lesson and it's it's just good to put some hard graft into it really 
and I'm really looking forward to Monday. Okay, let's have a look at the transformation. How much better does that look? I'm going to be coming down tomorrow with some brushes to tackle this bit. I've only got rags, you see, so I need to get this sorted. I think I might have to replace this ball, I'm not sure. And this is looking a lot better. I'll be coming back tomorrow to have a good old scrub. Let's take you up here. Ugh. This is going to be a nice little seating area. Let's take you up here. And then ugh. this area is going to have some safety handles, rails to the side, mostly because I don't want my beer to roll off. I have a bit of this AstroTurf so we can have a bit of a lounge area. Get it cleaned up, we have some plants out, figurehead at the front, to be where the chimney will go. And then I'm gonna have a crutch cover here. I'm gonna make this really nice and comfortable. Ah, now to get down. It's such an elegant procedure. One foot. Oh, I did that quite well. Okay, here we have the engine room. So where's this where the batteries go? Leads through there. Steering. I'm so excuse for the, the wobbliness. I'm trying to hold it up with one hand. And then we have this. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I don't know what that is. I'm sure someone will tell me. Here's my engine. Four stroke Yamaha. And here's the family. Look at that. Ugh. So, there we have it. The boat has been bleached. It looks really good. And I'm excited to get this thing varnished. Yes! Time for a cold beer. Oh, a little bit. Oh. Still wobbling. Why are you wobbling? Stay still. Oh, it's all upside down. Maybe that's why. Ugh. Hello. Oh, subscribe to me. Oh.